Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. Uh, in today's tutorial, we will talk about the Informatica Cloud application integration service because many subscriber was asking me to make the videos on the cloud application integration. So we have already covered the data integration in the Informatica Cloud. Now we will uh, he, um, try to understand how the uh, application services or how the application integration services works in the real time. So first you have to create the free trial account you can just type on the Google free trial account for the application integration then you need to fill up these all the basic details. So once you fill up the details you are able to see these services API center, API manager, API portal, application integration, application integration console. So we will cover these all the module. So basically API manager, API portal and the application integration console this uh, uh, mostly uh, used by the administrator and for the development we are using the application integration. So let's talk about more uh, about the application integration. So in Informatica cloud application integration helps different application work together by sharing data in real time. It allows you to automate tasks and connect the system whether they are the cloud or on-premises. This makes the business process faster and reduces the need of manual work. So basically application integration service allows us to perform real-time web service based integration of process, application and system. In data integration, we build the flow and we automate it using the schedule. But in application integration, we focus on transferring the data in real time. It means most of the time we are going to exchange data over the internet using API and data will transfer will be in XML or the JSON format. So data integration is usually used for transferring the big amount of the data but application integration is not and the amount of data transfer at once are usually much smaller both have the different component and asset so let's understand the difference between the data integration and application integration so in the cloud data integration it move and transform large amount of volume of data between the systems in cloud application integration connects and automates process between the application in real time cloud data integration batch the data transfer for example loading data into warehouse and in cloud application integration it real time updates for example updating the CRM when an order is placed. In cloud data integration it handles the large data sets often for analytics of or reporting. In application integration it handles the small real time data exchange. So let's understand how we can create the process with the help of demo. So in application integration, this is the console page you can see here. Click on create. You can see there is a process, guide, application connection, service connectors, process object and services. So click on create. You can create the process let me give the name for my process MP is the naming convention and if you click on override you can give the same name for the API name you need to click on this checkbox then paste it and save it let me publish this so our purpose as Informatica cloud developer is use application integration to create the process which will perform certain actions and can be called as a REST or SOAP API by different system or the applications. So to be able to call this process as an API, you have to save and publish this, okay? But if we, if we leave the 
API name empty. So in this window after publish name shows in API. If you unpublish and click on override API name, you are able to give the unique name here. Let me show you unpublish. So here you can see if I click here, uh, uncheck this box and then save and publish, then you are not able to give the name. Just enable this option. You can give the different name also to your API. We we'll change the name first process. Save this and again publish. Now we can see here star. There are many options binding, allowed group, allowed users. So binding have two options, rest and so and event. Allow groups and users created by the administrator user, we can configure who can invoke this process. Okay. Now if we talk about only accept HTTP authentication request from the API gateway, so it is related to API manager where we can create a manage API and if we talk about the allow anonymous so if we enable this let me enable so if we enable this it will ensure that all the users can access this process without any credentials applies to it allow us to automatically get access to the object field and it should be only used in case process will be embedded into the another process then run on and uh, so here we will keep the any means no specific object will be associated with this process in run on we have the options like secure agent or the cloud server In run as there are two options current user and the system. Now if we talk about the input field. In input field you can see there are the fields and whole pay load options are available. So input field is used to represent the content of incoming request. Input can be represented as multiple field and or which one field can whole paid means if we select the field then we can uh, represent the multiple fields but if we select the whole payload then we can which uh, contain only one field then in output field we can pass the data to rest of the process once the process complete it will return the values configured for the output field so let me create one output field for example my message text save this in temp field so temp field is nothing but we can hold the temporary data and temp field won't be available in this sub process and there is a messages option advanced in advance you can see there are the um, many options like suspend on the fault tracing level so in tracing level again there are four options none terse normal and verbose you can see the enable course here so course is nothing but cross origin resource and then notes so in notes we can keep the notes related to your process or why we are using process or what is the use of the process you can write here now let me add assignment step in assignment step we can call that output so basically it allow us to set the value for the field so in assignment let me add the value my message so there are again three options content field and formula if you select the formula you can use the expression here uh, there are fields function xml objects so we will see one by one for now i'm selecting the content and form uh, suppose i have to type the message
welcome to data toolkit save this and publish it so here we can map the value from another field or by using the formula where we can build our own expressions after that talk about the end so if you see here if you click on end there are two ending types milestones and end of the process http status is 200 okay so you can select here from anything or as per your requirement so if we select the milestone let me select you can see color is changed here the color of the property is changed it's purple and responsible ending the process let me show you when you select the milestone here we are able to add and drag and drop the another steps here after milestone and now if you select the end of the process and if we try to add the services you are not able to add this is the difference so this is the interview question what are the ending types and what is the difference between them so let me publish this now you can see property details in property details it is showing the um, details like unique name name of your process location public publication uh, status when you publish at what time you published who is published then status is active and here two uh, url is created soap uh, soap service url and service url so just we have we need to copy this service url let me paste in browser and if you are using the postman you can use the postman also so you can see here our process is created my message is welcome to data toolkit i also installed postman let me show you this is the postman console page you can see here get post put patch delete head option so uh, this these all methods are available here let me paste this service url and click on send so you can see my message welcome to data toolkit so in this way you can create the process now we will talk about the interview questions um, first interview question is what is informatica application integration so answer will be like informatica application integration is cloud based platform used to integrate applications automate the business process and manage the data across various system and cloud applications next question is what is the process in cai the process involves connecting the different applications and system to exchange the data seamlessly means it is about the connecting different software tools making them work together and automating data flow between them third question is what are the ending types and difference between them so we already discussed about the ending type i already show, uh, showed you the ending types that is the milestone and the end of the process so difference between them is after milestone you can add the steps in process which i already showed you but end of the process you can't add anything it is just end of the process so guys this is all about the today's tutorial if you really enjoy and if you feel this video is informative please like comment and share my video keep learning and growing thank you